Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I have a cool tutorial for you. I'll be showing you how to set up ChatGPT as an explainer for a live video on OBS. In fact, it's working right now. You'll notice every now and then an explainer pop-up will slide in and show a short factual info panel that reacts to the content of the video. So let's jump in to see how it's done. To begin, we'll set up subtitles using the local vocal plugin. These subtitles will capture spoken words from a video or live stream. In this case, I'm using Andre Carpathy's LLM Explained video. I have a media source with the video. Now let's add the local vocal plugin as a filter to the source. You can configure local vocal to capture a certain language. I'm using the tiny English model with the language English. Create a new text source and set it to capture the output from local vocal. Here I have a source called media subs and I'm setting local vocal to output to the media sub source. You can adjust the font size, color and other settings according to your preference. Here I've set it up to a yellow color with an outline and a shadow and I placed it roughly below the video. With our subtitles in place, let's send them to ChatGPT for explanations. Start by installing the URL API source plugin for OBS. See the video notes for the download links. Create a new URL API source in your scene. Click Setup Data Source. We will be using the OpenAI Chat Completions API with a post method you'll have to get your API key and set up the content type to be JSON. In the body, I use GPT 3.5 Turbo and the prompt is asking ChatGPT to pick a topic within the transcript and provide a short explanation for it. Make sure to skip empty and same inputs and add an aggregation, for example, for 30 seconds. Select the incoming media subs to use as an input for this request to ChatGPT. Finally, the outputs should be choices zero message content. See the video notes for the complete body URL and output parsing. Back in the properties, make sure to output the response from ChatGPT to a text source that will be displayed with our pop-up. To make our video more interactive, we'll add a timed pop-up using the Advanced Scene Switcher macro. If you haven't already, make sure to install the Advanced Scene Switcher macro for OBS. See the video notes for the download links. For the pop-up, I created a very simple setup. It's just a color source with a text source on top. I added a funny picture of a light bulb and a little bit of drop shadow from the shadow plugin from Finite Singularity. See the notes for the link. I added a slide transition on show and a reverse slide on hide. Now let's set up a macro in the advanced scene switcher to trigger when the pop-up text source settings have changed. We do this since the URL API source will put the ChatGPT responses here. For the actions, first let's show the pop-up by setting the item visibility to show. Then add a wait timer for viewers to read the pop-up. I set it to 8 seconds. Then hide the pop-up to prepare for the next one. When everything is connected, the pop-ups will show up every 30 seconds or so to show a quick explanation of a topic from the last bit of the show. You can tweak the prompt to focus on topics from a certain domain or change the style. That's it. We have successfully set up ChatGPT as a live video explainer on OBS using the local vocal plugin to capture subtitles, the URL API source for ChatGPT, and the advanced scene switcher for the pop-up. It's an effective way to engage your audience and provide real-time explanations. If you find this useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.